In this video, I will be showing you how to make the fruit snack label template in Canva on my iPhone. So first, I'm going to start by opening up the Canva app, and this is what it looks like on my phone. Once I do that, I'm going to click the plus sign in the bottom in the middle, and the screen will change to this. And then I'm going to select custom size at the top. Once I do that, it's going to let me change the size to 11 by 8.5 inches. So change PX to IN, which stands for inches. Once you have your document up, this will be your next screen. And to make my template, I'm going to click on elements and I'm going to pick the square without any rounded corners. So I use my canvas so it has some stuff already up here. So just if you have to type it in, just search for a square and then that item will come up for you. And this is what it's going to look like. Once I have that square on the screen, I am going to basically make it into my template. So the start of that, I am going to go to the little options at the bottom. I'm going to scroll over to position. Once I click on position, it will look like this. Next, I'm going to click on advanced. And this will let me change the size of my square to the exact size that I need it to be. So for this first square, you're going to make it three inches by four inches. So the width is going to be three and the height is going to be four. And this will be your middle section, which is going to be the front part of your template whenever you start to assemble your fruit snack wrap. So this is the part that's going to have your full design on it that everyone's going to see on the front of the pack. So again, that is going to be three by four inches. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to go back to this screen and I am going to click on the little plus sign at the top that's to the far, well, I'm gonna move it some, but that first option that you see sitting above the item is gonna be for duplicate, so you're gonna click that. It's like a little paper and then it's got a plus sign. So I duplicate it and I'm going to go back down to the options at the bottom and I'm gonna change the color. The color does not matter, this just lets you know where your boundaries are from the front of your wrapper and the back of your wrapper template. So just change it to whatever color you want it to be. Doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's a different color so that you know which part is which on your template. So I'm just gonna pick a random color. And then I'm gonna go back to my options and I'm going to go to position again because I wanna change the size. I don't need it this big. So once I get to position, going back to advanced. And the sizing for this one will be 1.5 by three and this is going to represent the back side of your template i'm going to show you how you arrange your does um your template when i finish putting my sizes in so again that size is going to be 1.5 by 3 and this is what it should look like i'm going to put it up beside this and i'm going to duplicate that because you need two for the back and one is gonna be on the left side of that first square and one is gonna be on the right side. So the color that's in the middle, that is gonna be the front of your wrapper. The color is to the left and the color that's to the right is gonna be the back when you fold it and assemble it. So this is your template. This is what you need to design in. That front part is what you're gonna see on the front and that um, the middle part is what you're gonna see on the front and the two outer sides is what's gonna be on the back. So that's a simple template and i've already told you the measurements so now you can actually create your design i'm going to go in and click that plus button on the left at any moment i'm going to do that right now oh before i do that i do want to um group this so my template does not move all over the place and stays together so i go to position um go to more and then select multiple once you do that, you'll click on each square. So that middle square is already selected. So now I'll click on either the left and the right so that all of them are selected. Now that everything is selected, I'm going to click on the option to group them. Now that they're grouped, I can click on my template and move it anywhere and it will not fall apart and it stays together. This gives me the perspective of where I need to put my design. So once that is done, I can click out of this and now I'll be able to design my act. Well, I'm going to center it because that just bothers me when it's not centered. So to center anything, you'll go to position. I'm getting ahead of myself, but it's okay. And then I'm going to click on align. 
once I click on a line, I can just click center and just make sure it's centered. You don't have to do this part. It's just something that I like to do. And then I can click out of this and move on to my next step, which will be finally designing it, which is the fun part for me. So the little circle that is at the bottom with the plus sign is purple. You're going to click on that. And while I'm waiting to do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This screen will come up and you're going to click on camera roll. Now, if you're going to use all the elements that are already in Canva, you can do that. But I have some that I've got from Pinterest and I'm going to use these images and you'll just click on the ones you want to upload into your, um, your design. So I have two background images. I have one that's got characters and a nutritional facts. I'm kind of gonna I'm gonna upload all of these at one time. You can do them separately, but once you get the hang of everything, you can just open them all at once. So that way you don't have to keep going back and forth. So now that I have my items here, I'm gonna start placing them where I want them on my actual design and figuring out which one I want to be what. So I like to use a background at the front of my template in the middle. And that's what I'm doing now is just moving things around to place them where I want them. I'm going to use this one as my background for the front of my design. Now to make sure that I'm always getting the correct sizing because it does not tell you when you're resizing it and everything like that. I will go back into my options and go to position and advanced. And I'll make sure this middle section is the correct dimensions, which is going to be three by four. And that's what I'm doing here is making sure that I have the correct dimensions. And it's now the correct size to fit the front of my wrapper. And then I'm going to go to position, align, and center it again. Now this doesn't have to be done if you didn't center your template. I just like to center mine to make sure while I'm working on it that everything is centered and in the correct place. So I'm going to center that part. And now I can work on my characters that I'm going to use. Now this design is the one I'm just doing for this video. You can make any type of design in using any character for any occasion, any event that you want to. Um, once I click on that image to get rid of the background, I love Canva for this. You can click on it and you will go to effects and then background remover and it gets rid of the background. It's completely gone. Like I don't have to do any extra stuff to get rid of my background. After I get rid of the background, I'm going to resize it so that it fits into my design because it needs to be smaller. My fruit snack wrapper is not that big. so smaller picture in the middle of my design and just place it where I want it to be. Now I do have another background that I'm going to use for the back of my wrapper. So I'm just going to put that on the left side. It doesn't really matter what size you use it on because when you fold it, that's is the same. They're basically just going to be seen on the back of your wrapper. So I'm going to use that other background. I'm going to size that down to fit on the left side. And that's what you see me doing here. It's just moving my mouse. I mean, well, using my finger because I'm on my phone. I am just sizing it to fit on that left side. And now that I have my left side done, I am going to resize and place the nutritional facts. You can look those up on Google. The rest of my images I got from Pinterest. This is the only one I got from Google. You can look up different ones or you can make your own. Um, I'm just going to size it and place it where I think it should be. And once I have that done, I'm going to focus on the right side. Now, this is another thing that I really, really, really love about Canva. I'm going to click on it and you see at the bottom that you can pick the color. It changed to the same color as the square that I'm using. I can scroll down when this comes up and I can pick any color from any of those images that I'm already using. So I'm going to click on see all just to see what the other options are. And you don't have to try to color match because it does it for you. You can just click whatever color you want. And that's what I'm doing here because I like the back to have like a contrasting. It looks like I did more work than I actually did. I just picked a color that's in the actual other pictures on my um, wrapper. So once I do that, my next step is going to be adding. Well, let me not get ahead of myself again. Let me slow down. So now I am going to go into the options and I am going to click on text. 
there's so many fonts in this but i'm going to keep it simple because i'm just going to put thanks for coming so i'm going to click add text box and i'm going to place that text box where i want it and like i said i'm just going to put something very simple as thanks for coming you can put whatever you want here you can put um so many different things you can add the logo if you're using different um, if you want people to know what type of fruit snacks they are, what flavor they are, you can put a QR code. If this is for a business or an event, you can put your business name. Like I said, I'm just going to put thanks for coming and I'm going to size that to fit into that side. And you can change the font. You can play around with it, make it whatever you want it to be. But I'm just using it simple right now. There's so many things you can do. You need to get on Canva and oh. If I forgot to mention, I am using Canva Pro, but there's so many free available options on here as well that you can use. So once I have the font where I want it, my next step is going to be adding some word art. So going into my options again, and like I said, these are some word art that you can use as well. You just have to type what you want it to say, and it's gonna look like that, and you can customize those based on color, size, and different things like that. But like I said, I'm using something plain. So once I do that, I'm going to, while I'm in elements, I'm making this like a happy birthday mock-up, I guess you can say. So I'm gonna type in happy birthday. Or I'm gonna show y'all that there's so much things, like so many things you can use it for. So we're gonna get to the happy birthday, but you can use it for baby showers. Just get in and type whatever, whatever you wanna make, it probably has something to fit your needs. You can also look up graduation stuff. So if you know somebody who's graduating or you're about to throw a graduation party or you wanna give a graduation gift that's customized, you can put the picture of the person on it, the year they graduated, school colors, you name it. Canva can do it. And it doesn't have to be Canva Pro. Now you're not gonna get everything, but it doesn't have to be Canva Pro. But I do recommend it. So now I find the happy birthday text or clip art that I wanna add. And as you can see, I know y'all can't see it yet, but you can change the color to that. You see at the bottom where it says color, some of them give you the option to change the color to the clip um, word art. So I'm gonna make it black so you can actually see it. And it just says happy birthday. Like I said, this can be used for any theme. Even this theme that I'm using here can be for a baby shower, birthday, gender reveal, you name it. It's so many different things you can do with this project or this design and this template and it doesn't even have to be canva pro so once i have everything together what i like to do is group them so i go to more select multiple and any element that i added to my design i am going to select it if you don't select it it will not group it so make sure you click on anything that you added so once i click on everything i need to click on I am going to slide over and click group and then I put everything together like we did before when we did the template. So now that everything is grouped, I can click up here and click duplicate, which is to the left of the little trash can. And I'm just showing you that you can put more than one design on each page and just get rid of the template now because I don't need it and just move everything to its place. So now I can place two templates on one 11 by 8.5 sheet of paper, which is regular paper for a printer. And that's it. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long. It's already getting a little lengthy. So I'm going to post a part two on how you print it and assemble it. 